Community members here at home are reacting to the passing of George H.W. today. Fox 44's Anna Thrash tells us how people in downtown Waco are remembering the president. The people I spoke to today said that they were sad to hear about the passing of former President Bush, but many of them remember him as a president who made good changes for our country. He served our country very, very well. He's going to be greatly missed. Today in downtown Waco, members of the community took the time to reflect on their memories of George H.W. Bush. I was just a child when he was president, and my dad was a really big fan of him, and so it was, it was probably something that would affect the older generations more, but you know, he's definitely got a, a legacy that's worth remembering. Bush's wife, Barbara, died earlier this year in April. I knew it would come soon after um, Ms. Barbara passed away, um, and so I'm just uh, lifting the Bush family up in prayer today. As the 41st President of the United States, Bush led the country through the end of the Cold War. He was a World War II veteran, and he passes his legacy down to his son, who is honored by many landmarks here in Central Texas, including the George W. Bush Parkway and a Little League Center. I just know he's always been um, a stand-up guy, a role model, very good in office. Um, that entire family, you know, just have been pillars um, for United States, for Texas, and like I said, I'm just, I'm just lifting up prayer for them right now. State Representative Doc Anderson knew Bush personally and praises the work he did in office. It's just a tremendous legacy that he's left for this state, uh, but he set the tone and a very uh, distinguished family, very distinguished individual. The former president will lie in state starting Monday in the Capitol Rotunda in Washington, D.C. Wednesday has been declared a national day of mourning, and President Trump says that he will attend the funeral that day. In the control room, Anna Thrash, Fox 44 News.